All right, what's up, my good people? This is your boy ZTR here, and I'm going to make this very, very clear and crystal before I continue. If y'all think for a second, and I'm talking to all you RFG followers, all of you that have subscribed to his channel over the last six, seven years, he's been on YouTube. If you think I'm just exposing this man, I'm just trying to put this man down just for clicks and views and clout, then you're mistaken. Okay, you're wrong. You don't know me at all or what I'm trying to do. I have you know that to respond to a lot of other YouTubers in my reaction videos because they they spew out a bunch of nonsense. They tell you a bunch of lies for clout and views. So in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between his subscribers, like this one man right here. I want to say there's nothing against XA Spiritual, but listen, young man, I got to tell you how wrong you are. So this is one of RG's followers in the past. So I'm going to show you the difference between his followers and the people who actually watch RG, their chosen one's videos, but then they actually look up research. They do their own research and look up actual facts and refute what he's saying. Again, I'm not the only YouTuber who has responded to this guy. I've showed you that already in my past video. Go look at my ZTR Barry's RFG. Because all those YouTubers I showed you, they're not lying on this cat at all. None. Okay, so without any further ado, we're going to get started. And you're going to get a bonus this weekend. Because I'm going to show you who the real true queen of California is. And this, this queen of California is based on a book called The Island of California. The one he told you, that's the Queen of California, it's an absolute lie. Okay, that's coming up right after this video. But now, let's let's uh let's continue. Let's let's start. We're gonna look at XA Spiritual's reaction. And this is gonna be a video on Chadwick Bossman that I was telling y'all about that you think I'm lying and making up. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um in this video, we're going to be reacting to the Island of Charles Black Panther Ritual Sacrifice Exposed. You feel me? So let's get right into it, y'all. I have not watched this video. He actually dropped this video yesterday. Um, I did not even know that Black Panther died till like yesterday when Spiritual Soul uploaded the video. Because I'm not really tuned into the metrics like that. You feel me? I'm in my own dimension. I'm in my own reality. You feel me? So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and check this out. And I don't trust no other news sources other than the RFG Charles one. That shows you just how stupid you are. He said, I don't trust no other news source but RG the Chosen One. That means you have been literally led down a very dark, deep rabbit hole you can't get yourself out of. Again, if y'all go and use Google and backtrack what this man is saying, you will see how much lies he's told. But don't just take my word for it. Well, you're going to find out yourself. I'm just saying. RG be on some weird stuff. I mean, straight weirdo stuff. The weirdest I've ever seen. That's why I fuck with him. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Three, two, one. What's good? What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's RFG back at it today. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm about to touch on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break this down. All right. It's been reported that Chadwick Boseman, um, the main character, all right, who played the Black Panther superhero, has died. All right, earlier today. They said that he died at 43, but I thought he was 42. All right, again, this is why y'all need to take math seriously. Y'all need to learn how to count. The man died in 2020. That was during the pandemic. Okay? That's 43 years from his birth date. Y'all need to actually do math. Again, this is how stupid RG the Chosen One's subscribers are. They're just as stupid as he is because he cannot count at all. I do remember telling y'all in my last video, I said about this guy, this guy dropped out of school because he clearly do not account. It would have been 42 years had he uh, died in 2019. That was on Jackie Robinson Day, was it? Was it not? No. The man passed away in 2020. Because I remember the video I did on him when he passed. I was on my way to the gym. That was during the pandemic, folks. All right. And I'll just 
I'm just going to say to start this off, if you are one of those people who just believes in coincidences, who just believes everything happens uh, just because it happened, everything happens for no reason. Um, if you actually believe the mainstream media story that this man died of cancer, um, you are sadly mistaken. Yeah, actually, the man really did die of cancer. Okay, cancer hits anybody. All right. And this man, this young man was sitting up here laughing like it's funny. This tells me this young man here don't know anybody that's passed away from cancer before. Because that's not nothing to be really joking about at all. You know, my grandmother that I've uh, talked about in my recent video, she just recently had lung cancer. It came back on her. But so she was 92 when she passed. Cancer can hit anybody at any age. You got children. Like the ones you see at St. Jude Hospital, they got cancer. So imagine how they feeling right now. How their parents is feeling. That their child going to pass away young. Didn't even get a chance to even be 15, 16 years old. They won't get the chance to get married. They won't get the chance to experience getting a job. Nothing because they're dying young. That's a serious thing. There's nothing to be playing around with at all. And I believe your pineal gland is calcified. All right. Um, just to speak logically here. All right. We're talking about a man who was at the age of 42 and you know he again he was 43 now this is the rolling running okay i'm gonna switch back between his video and this other young man's video this is somebody who actually did research and can refute everything that rfg the chosen one is saying about chavin bozeman here psychological and spiritual assault from the warlocks okay they're gonna have a huge psychological spiritual attack coming from the warlocks so 9 11 coding 77 is something the zionist warlocks use what's going on guys it's the rolling ronin uh, i want to start off this video by telling a little story first so on august 28th i was on guard and my friend came from his post to my post to tell me the news on Chadwick Boseman because uh, he knew I was a huge fan. And I was actually watching The Five Bloods for like the third time when he told me. I didn't believe him. But uh, when I got relieved of my uh, duty and I got off guard and I went back to my, uh, my room, uh, I found out the truth. Uh, the day this man passed away, I saw this video that we're gonna talk about uh, today. And I didn't want to make a response video to it because I didn't want to uh, capitalize on his death. I didn't want to use uh, Chadwick Boseman's death as like a wave to ride for clicks and views. Like, And let me say this before he continues. This is exactly what this man, RG the Chosen One, has been doing for years. I remember when Nipsey also passed. This man was one of the biggest YouTubers. As long as these other Truth of Community YouTubers trying to basically capitalize on Nipsey's death. The same way they did Kobe Bryant. That's all they do is create a bunch of lies to try to justify their truth, which is clearly out of bounds. Okay? I told you, not everybody believes in that stuff. You Y'all think I'm just lying on this man. I'm not the only one who feels the exact same way. I'm not. So let's continue. Like, like this guy did. And um, I honestly wanted to wait and take time and talk about it. Tamar Bozeman is a personal hero of mine. From 42 all the way to a uh, message from the king, he's an inspiration to children of all backgrounds, and it seemed he seemed to be an amazing person. And my deepest, my deepest condolences go out to his family and his friends. With that being said, let's actually get into the video. I actually, believe the mainstream media story. That now let's switch back to what he's saying, and, and yeah, y'all go see the differences. You go see stupidity versus common sense. He wasn't. Bro, it's crazy how they said he died at 43 because they know how we can just decode these numbers, bro. Like how we dealt with Kobe Bryant. We decoded that. Okay, let me get this out the way now. Again, I told you about Kobe Bryant. Y'all didn't decode nothing. The man who made that cartoon a long time ago said, don't use that against him. He said, he said this dude, the, uh, the creator of that cartoon, they tried to use to, to say, to try to say, oh, that predicted Kobe Bryant's death. The actual author said, don't use that out of respect for Vanessa Bryant. Okay, that man didn't know that Kobe was going to actually die in a plane crash, in a helicopter. Okay? 
is very, very stupid. You talk about this, this the rest of the, that man's daughter's uh, father. Okay? Gia's little, uh, younger sisters, you talk about their father. Y'all had no respect for that man at all. You just doing that to get attention and views. But let's continue. And by the way, they didn't code nothing because this, again, he's clearly just as stupid as RFG. This young man here got to be at least, I'm going to say, when he did this video, he had to be at least, I'm going to say, in between 15 to maybe 22. Or 21, maybe 20 years old. Young. These are mostly young people he attract because they into this nonsense. And they say that he died at 43, not 42. You know what I mean? Because they know that we can just easily be called this shit. Tip-top shape. Uh, athletically, and not only that, it was never reported in his history, in any time in his medical history, or any time in his history of him being diagnosed with cancer. If you think I'm bullshitting, I want anybody to go through Chadwick Boseman's uh, all of his social media pages. All right, speak to speak to his family members. Go on their social media pages if you can. And see if you can find any evidence of Chadwick Boseman having cancer. For one, how you going? This is what I'm talking about. The disrespect is real. Okay, you talk about a man who had actual family. That means his wife, his kids, right? His moms, pops, brothers, sisters. How you going to tell your own subscribers to go hit these people up? Go on this man's friend list and talk to him about this man's death. Again. People like RG the Chosen One has absolutely no soul. They have no compassion at all. They don't. Because if one day people was to pass on, they don't want nobody randomly talking to them and saying that's a sacrifice that they lying about cancer. Like that's some this is the most stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. This is what I mean by harassment. To go to hit Chadwick Boss's wife up and she don't know you at all, and you're gonna talk to her about her husband's death, that's a form of harassment. Okay, don't make you wouldn't do do that to some random person in real life. Is stupid as hell. That this man died of cancer, you are sadly mistaken, and I believe your pineal gland is calcified. Oh, wow. Logically here, all right, it was never reported in his history, in any time in his medical history, or any time in his history of him being diagnosed with cancer. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act is a law that protects your medical records from being disclosed. Chadwick, during his life, reserved the right to not tell anyone he didn't want to that he had cancer. Furthermore, if he did tell his family, they were prohibited from disclosing that information to the public. If they did, he could sue them, not to mention they could serve jail time. Now y'all see that, right? This young man, Roland running as actually did real research he's showing you this right now okay rg the chosen one doesn't do thorough research obviously he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about neither does he read up on anything he's just creating his own stories out of his own mind because that's how mentally insane he is for breaking the not only is it not anyone's business if he had cancer or not it's not your legal right to know if he had cancer or not I'm bullshitting. I want anybody to go through Chadwick Boseman's uh, all of his social media pages. All right. Speak to speak to his family members. Go on their social media pages. Please, for the love of God, do not contact Chadwick Boseman's family. They're going through an incredibly rough time right now. I don't know if this man has ever had someone die in his life, but I, I wish somebody would message me asking me if my uh, deceased spouse was a human sacrifice for Warlock. Yeah, I agree with that fully, man. Like, like for example, my 92-year-old grandma just died. I don't want nobody that I don't know. I don't recognize you ain't family trying to talk to me about my grandmother's death. When I know my grandmother died, and she, when she died, she passed on and she's in heaven. She had gave her life to Jesus. That's who she believed in. She didn't believe in no witches of warlocks coming after her. No, it wasn't none of that nonsense going on. I don't want nobody to be talking to me about my grandma's death because it's none of your business. This young man here got a lot to learn. He needed, again, something is wrong with him. Or being diagnosed with cancer at any point in his life. Ladies and gentlemen, cancer is not something that kills. Hold up, bro. Before we proceed, I just did some research. 
And it says here that Chadwick Boseman was actually vegan. Boseman, aka Black Panther, recently described himself as mostly vegan. Okay, just because you're vegan don't mean you can't escape cancer. Again, that's the most stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Like, how would you, why would you say something like that? To the fashion magazine, Mr. Porter even told the publisher that his new fitness regimen and vegan lifestyle had given him maybe the handsomest years of his life. Okay, but remember this too. When somebody's on their deathbed from cancer and they're in stage four, that means they're, in, they're on their bed. They're strapped up to a machine and they got all this, this um, wires and stuff hooked up to them. Chadwick was very, very sick. The man passed away on his deathbed. He obviously was not healthy at all. Because cancer attacks you from the inside out. It kills off your white blood cells. And when your black, white blood cells can't fight off the bacteria, and it can't protect you no more, you're going you're gonna to pass on. Okay? This young man, again, this is the result of the stupidity that I keep telling you about. RG, the chosen one, poisons people like this, this young man here. Like XA Spiritual. Because you clearly have not been in school at all paying attention. Alright? For RG to even be saying something like that about cancer. And you got people that ain't even, uh, that's not even famous to Chad Boseman. They dying from cancer right now. So how you think they feel when you say some stupidity like this? I'm sorry, XA Spiritual, you need to know how stupid you sound right now. Bro, if you are a vegan, if you don't eat meat, bro, your, li your likely chance of getting cancer is slim, bro. That's, that's a lie. lie. Completely. Again, you need to go and look up what cancer is, the different types of cancer. You got colon cancer, you got lung cancer, breast cancer. Matter of fact, the NFL did a whole month for like the last 15 years about breast cancer retinas. My aunt Iris Alexander in Louisiana has had that for quite some time now, sir. I'm just saying, you're not going to get cancer if you're eating, I mean, if you're not eating meat, food. Like, I'm just saying, if I know for a fact you did not die of cancer. And I know for a fact that what you just told was an absolute lie. The man is gone, he really did have cancer. I know for a fact, bro. you in one day or one week or two weeks. Okay? Alright? Cancer is a slow process. Very slow process. And with Chadwick Boseman had that for a very long time. Okay? Process. <laughs> okay? And um, this individual also had access to Africa, you know, to people in Africa, to holistic herbs in Africa. And I'm pretty sure... What's the name of these herbs? For real, what, what kind of these, I want to know the name of these magical herbs. Can you, somebody please tell me what type of herb can magically just cure you of the cancer that he had. Matter of fact, let's look about the type of cancer he had. Give me one second. See, I do real research. It said the statement also revealed that one of the greatest Hollywood child was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. So yeah, there was no coming back from that. He was diagnosed in 2016 and bout it these last four years as it progressed to stage 5. He was gone. He was goner. Colon cancer is very, very, very bad. Okay. But again, this man doesn't know RG, don't even look nothing up himself. He's just making things up like he always does. You know, this is the information age. You know, I'm willing to bet anything he knew who Dr. Sebi was, who he knew who uh, Dr. Sebi's family was. So, you know, at any point in time... Let me check you right there. How the hell are you going to get in contact with Dr. Sebi when Dr. Sebi was a busy man? Dr. Sebi died in 2018. Okay, and even if Chadwick wanted to, Chadwick was a busy man putting out movies. Okay, again, these people that talk about Hollywood don't understand how busy these celebrities are. They got deadlines they gotta make. Again, Chadwick knew he was gonna pass on, so this man was grinding to save up money for his family so they could be straight for the rest of their life. There was no way those two could even meet up when, again, Chadwick was set to release Black Panther during that time. 
Nipsey, on the other hand, was working on that DVD with Dr. Sabino, and they both passed away. You see how that happened? No, they, no, uh, hell no. There was no way this man was getting in contact, let alone knowing this man's family. Again, RG the chosen one of somebody that's stupid as hell at he's mentally insane. That man needs help. Cancer is not something that kills you in one day or one week or two weeks. Okay? Alright? Cancer is a slow process. There are different types of cancer. Not all cancer is the same, and not all cancer affects everyone in the same exact way. Some people don't even know they have cancer until they start showing signs. There is no early detection test. So usually by the time it's diagnosed, it's late stage, and it's difficult to treat at that point. Well, in the case of Mr. Bozeman, his cancer was at stage three when it was discovered. This individual also... Y'all saw that date, right? So you know I'm not lying. 1976. Let's run that back. Look at 1976 to 2020. That is 43 years. These people don't know how to count at all. So how in the hell are you going to say this man was 42 when he died? When clearly 1976 from 2020 is 43 years. Oh my God. These people are stupid. This individual also had access to Africa, you know, to people in Africa, to holistic herbs in Africa. And I'm pretty sure, you know, this is the information age. You know, I'm willing to bet anything he knew who Dr. Sebi was, who he knew who uh, Dr. Sebi's family was. So, you know, at any point in time, if he really wanted to heal himself, he was a multi-millionaire. He could afford any kind of top-of-the-line medical treatments. I want to put out two things here. He said, I bet, meaning you don't have any proof. Matter of fact, did he put any proof in his description while I'm talking? No. Secondly, he said if he wanted to heal himself, maybe he didn't want to heal himself. Maybe he was at peace. Maybe there's nothing he could have done. I say again, every cancer is different. Just because there's a magical Africa herb that saved uh, a thousand people of cancer doesn't mean it was going to work on a Chadwick Boseman. A whole different body. It's a whole different human being. So take that with a huge grain of salt because I don't have a problem admitting that I don't know. Yeah, cause, like I said, man, like colon cancer, again, it's very, very bad. Like that's... Again, that's attacking your pelvic area. Like, you're, you're done. Ooh, like, it's a wrap. Chadwick always he made peace. He knew he was gone. That's why this man was working so hard doing all these back-to-back -back movies. So now his family, his kids don't have to worry about nothing else. His wife is set. She's straight for the rest of her life. But let's continue. If he really wanted to heal himself, he was a multi-millionaire. He could afford any kind of top-of-the-line medical treatments. You know what I'm saying? Shit, not just herbs. No, y'all obviously don't mean nothing because you obviously not in reality. So I'm, I'm just saying, like, when you, when, even when, when you look at this shit logically, it doesn't even make any sense. All right. So you know that was the logical explanation, and they're also saying, you see, this is this is Google's bullshit. Look at Google's bullshit. They're saying he died at 43 because they're trying to throw off the truthers. Go Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Google no. is trying to throw off the truthers. Look at Actually, you trying to throw off your subscribers because they don't have the nerve to actually do research like rolling running. Like this man here ain't going to do no research. He's spoon fed. This is what I talk. This is what I mean. I'm talking to you. You people who attack my channel. You insult my religion and my beliefs. Like, I'm just making some stuff up. Now you seeing the stupidity right before your eyes. This. He died at 43. Uh, he died. Because I just showed you the date. That man was born in 1976. At 43. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to go against the truthers because they know he really died at 42. He died on Jackie Robinson Day at the age of 42. All right? So Let's refute another lie. Google's bullshit. Look at Google's bullshit. They're saying he died at 43 because they're trying to throw off the truthers. Go Ladies and gentlemen, Google 
is trying to throw off the truth. Or this man saying Google on his bullshit, but he's getting all his facts from Google while using Google Chrome logged into his Google email account. He's saying it's Google's bullshit, but if you look at what he's staring at, he's actually looking at an article from a whole other website. I would be listening to this guy and he doesn't even know how to read what web page is getting his facts from. <laughs> I told you, man, this stuff is stupid. Yeah, y'all wanna cut y'all wanna come at me. Your you you, you you subscribers, your whole community, man. Y'all wanna talk to me like I'm dumb, man. I clear, dude. Like let's say matter of fact, I wonder what RBG, the chosen one, the XA Spirits are gonna do once they find out they got cancer. Or one of they people got cancer and can't heal themselves. Right? They find out all the money in the world ain't gonna be able to help them at all. And now they 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 suffer from cancer. I don't wish that on nobody. I'm just saying, cause this stuff is a complete insanity. I ain't calling you a truther. So there you have it. Nine two nine nine eleven. All right, Chadwick Boseman, born on a date. I know they always likely use nine eleven. Like, what does nine eleven got to do with anything? Y'all need to let that nine eleven stuff go. That happened twenty something years ago. There's nothing we can do about it. Saddam Hussein and Bin Laden both got assassinated. Okay, the troops found them too and then killed them already. It's over now. America done ran through that country, tip tape all, all sideways. They, they just didn't wreck that whole country and rechanged it. Okay, y'all need to stop. They love to use 9 11. Again, it was nothing we could do about the World Trade Center's falling. They ain't got nothing to do with Chadwick Bosman in 2020. Nothing. That originally had 9-11 coding. He was born in 1977. Okay? 77 is also 9-11 coding. And that's another thing. Somebody obviously made that up. Okay? That's not factual at all. But the news just reported you, that's the actual date. Okay? Somebody, I don't know if this is Wikipedia. This is where you got to be careful. Where you get your facts. Because this is obviously not correct at all. No, it wasn't 1977, it was 1976. 77 is something the Zionist warlocks use to code their uh, their false flag event. You saw him do this? Well, not really. No, actually not. Oh, then how do you know? It is 42. It's, this is 42 in 1977. So shit, we can do the math. You see, it's 42. Is this is 42 in 1977? He would have he would have turned 43 on November 29th. He would have turned 43, but he still died at the age of 42. So this guy said Childhood Bozeman died at 42. That's a complete lie. Bozeman's birthday was on November 29th. The last movie I've seen Bozeman in was The Five Bloods, released on June 12th. He was 23 years old while shooting that movie and died in the same year. Also, Chadwick Boseman did donations on Jackie Robinson Day. He was alive. He did a video about it. And furthermore, if you actually read what it's saying, the article right here from Wikipedia that he's pointing to is talking about the different roles he played. It says right there, real life historical figures. It says Jackie Robinson, 42. James Brown, it, it, it keeps going, right? So he's pointing to the number 42 and not even talking about that in the article that you're referencing. How do you die, record a video that same day, and then live for a few extra months and then die again? Future. There is no time machine, and you're not going to the future. You're crazy. Oh, I am not crazy. Oh, yeah, Captain Time Travel? Prove it. Uh, uh. Yeah, for real. I, I, I would like to know that, too. Y'all need to prove this. How are you going to die and then come back and do all these videos and then die again? Oh, man. So now it's time to get deep, okay? So now we're going to look at Mr. Chadwick Boseman's birthday. He was born on November 29th, 1977. So one thing we got to understand is before the Gregorian calendar, but before November came into the Gregorian calendar, okay, Pope Gregory, before November came into contact with Pope Gregory, November was the ninth month. November... I don't think he even understands what he's listening to. You look at this man's face, even he's getting confused. 
was originally the ninth month. Nova means nine. So there you have it. Nine two nine nine eleven. All right. Chadwick Boseman born on a date that originally had nine eleven coding. He was born in nineteen seventy seven. Okay, seven. Nine eleven coding that he created. Again, all this is inside this man is inside RVG the chosen one's head. Okay, that's how mentally insane he is from the rest of the earth. Look, look, <laughs> like, like, come on, dude. Like, y'all sound stupid. You sound stupid for even trying to calculate that. Like, come on, man. Y'all need to leave that weed alone. Leave the drugs alone. This man is clearly smoking some stuff. He ain't got no business because it's messed up your brain. This is how stupid you y'all people look. And what I mean by you people, I'm talking about all your followers. Everybody that's getting on my comment section trying to harass me, sending me all these emails. This is how stupid you look. I'm sure you a mirror yourself in a reflection. Evan Coding, he was born in 1977. Okay, 77 is also 9-11 coding. 77 is something the Zionist warlocks use to code. And let's find out about the Zionist warlocks. They don't want people to know that he, uh, he was murdered uh, at the age of 42. You know, on Jackie Robinson Day, Jack... Meanwhile, it's April 15th. It's Jackie Robinson Day. And this whole thing was set up. You know, they set this man up uh, for destruction and they used it. They used the sacrifice as a psychological. Yeah, I'm, uh, before I say this, y'all need to stop playing around with sacrifice. When you say somebody got sacrificed, you basically blaming them a premeditated murder. They have the FBI, CIA, do say the detectives, whoever find out, the ones who really did it, they're going to go to jail for life. Period. So, I'm still trying to figure out why would this film company that he worked for, these directors are paying them millions of dollars off their salary for him to do these movies. Why would they kill somebody that made him all that, all that bread, all that bank? Why would they get rid of their golden goose? You know what I'm saying? Why, why would you, why would you do that? Like, they don't make an ounce of sense. Like, that's just, that's just, that, that's just retarded within... That's what taught it at the ultimate level, like at the highest level. Like, why? I'm I'm a billionaire film owner, right? And I got one. I got an A-list celebrity, A-list black celebrity at that. And I'm paying him over twenty-five million or more to do this movie. Plus, he's getting these endorsement deals. He's making me more money. Why well, I'm gonna kill somebody that I'm that's making me all this money and keeping me rich? Like Chadwick Boseman is irreplaceable. That's why they even put out the Black Panther two yet. Because he's gone, they can't do it no more. It's not the same. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm these are things I'm pointing out. Again, I hate that I don't like tearing this man. I keep having to go back to it because y'all, you subscribers of his, piss me off. Covert metaphysical attack on the psyche of melanated people. Zionist warlocks gave him, and they basically said, you know what? If we give this individual this accolade. And, 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 you know, this kind of opportunity, this kind of achievement, <clears throat> he's going to have to pay with his life. He's going to have to get sacrificed at the age of 42. Okay, who the fuck told him that? How does he know exactly word for word what they... You know, I've been trying to figure it out, too. How do you know word for word all this is going on? Like, somebody please show me proof. Which your... Somebody please, I need to see a video of all this going down. Because still to this day, I ain't seen nothing. He said, and it gets zero proof. Y'all better watch out because he probably a space with too. Like, how, how is, does he know? If I'm in a room, like, seriously, he provided no proof anywhere. He's just saying that's what they said. If I'm in a room full of magical warlock, and I'm a conspiracy theorist, right? And the magical warlock are talking about killing somebody, why am I wild? Like, if you were in the room with magical warlocks talking about killing somebody, why did you not record it? Everyone, every single person I know has at least, at least a 1080p HD camera in their phone. I have a 4K camera in my phone. That's the, if I'm seeing warlocks, anything of that nature, first thing I'm doing is recording. But we just got to take this man's word for it. The man who can't even read what website he's on. We go 
And I'm going to say this too, man. These truth of communities, y'all not ready for real riches or warlocks. That's an actual thing. These are people who worship Satan for real. The stuff y'all talk about, y'all don't, y'all have never seen it in your life because you're not going to see that. You're that scared. You live in that much fear. You're scared of these people. I want for my subscribers to, to go look up something. You know what I'm saying? While you get the chance, go look up the name John Ramirez. I do remember mentioning him in my Antichrist video that I covered. That's a real ex Satanist. That man was born into the cult because his mom was a real witch that converted him and his little brother into that, that religion. John Ramirez is a living testament how God saved him from that, delivered him from Satanism. This man will say that he will stay up while he was serving Satan, casting real spells to do harm on somebody. This man will be up from 7 p.m. at night all the way until 5 a.m. the next morning. So while you truth the committee is all in your bed sleep, in your comfortable pillows and blankets, this man is out casting demons, casting out real spells to do harm on the neighborhoods, trying to convert people over from God to the devil. To get sympathy for the devil. That's what he was doing before God saved him back in 1999. Go look that stuff up. You think I'm lying. Matter of fact, go look up the Wayward Church on YouTube and type in John Ramirez. Because he was a guest at uh, the Pastor Marcos Garcia's um, service. Okay, yeah, I, I follow Pastor Marcos Garcia. He's uh, my pastor and, his, and him are best friends. That's one of Pastor uh, Jason Lazario's uh, friends. They've been on the same uh, mentor, the same leader. Before they both got their church, uh, before they yeah, got their ministries that they are now. Go look that up. Go look at John Maris. Go read the book Armed and Dangerous. Because it's going to tell you a lot of stuff. Now, I guarantee you that in that book, you're going to find out that all these numbers y'all be doing, this Jamatra is satanic. You see, RFG the Chosen One is somebody that studies dark spirituality. He's studying witchcraft. That's why he tried to tell you about Khalifa, which has nothing to do with the actual Korean of California at all. That man is doing some stuff. That I can't follow because it's wicked and evil. Alright, I'm just putting it out there now so you get a clear understanding. Go go on this YouTube, type in John Ramirez, the ex Satanist, and go hear his testimony. If you want to hear, hear about a real warlock that was around real witches, that he actually used to cast spells on other witches. Even though it was against his contract with the devil, he still did it anyway, just to see how powerful he was before he got saved. I'm gonna take his word for it. I love how these chosen ones are always saying what witches and aliens or whatever are doing, but they have zero proof. There's no video, no audio, no testimony, no articles, no nothing. There's not even a link in the description for you to read for yourself and do your own research. And notice his Patreon, right? He want to charge for this information. Charge it for a bunch of like He going to charge you for him destroying a black man's image. And obviously your chosen one is not black at all. Young Pharaoh actually proved it if you watched that video. It's his last response video. The man ain't black, he perpetrating. That's why he over there in Brazil. Because he's Latin. He's now, he don't have an ounce of black. Okay? Let's get that out the way now. And this man is a liar. That's why his channel was shut down. Because the people who's put money into his Patreon, they found out he's a scam artist. Like I've been trying to warn y'all already. He tells a bunch of lies. Alright? And then, on top of that, he the people lose money. They find out how fake he is. And he don't want to challenge them all. He runs like a coward. Where do they get this information from? People like this are always saying, do your own research, open your eyes, da 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 da, -da right? But there's nothing to open my eyes to. If you're reading about a conspiracy theory on a conspiracy theory website from someone who believes in the conspiracy theory, clearly they're only going to tell you narratives that fit their narrative. They're not going to give up any facts because the facts will obviously contradict what they're saying. If you believe in conspiracy theories, I implore you to research around the theory and not on the theory. The more information you get from one source, the more stale it becomes. Open to draw wisdom from many different places. If you take it from only one place, it becomes rigid and stale. Understanding others will help you become whole. Uh. This is, again, look at this dude's face. Like he really, this is somebody that's lost. I'm looking at somebody right now that clearly don't know what's going on at all. He's just being spoon-fed a lot, a bunch of false BS. And he takes it and runs when he tells other people. That's why you keep getting all this crazy Illuminati crap. Y'all worried about a group that ain't going to do nothing to you, ain't worried about you at all. They're uh, 
They're false flag events. You know why? Because during 9-11, during September 11th, 2001, okay, it was Flight 77 that hit, that supposedly hit the goddamn tower. Flight. Again, that has absolutely nothing to do with Chadwick Bossman at all. To even bring that up is just disrespectful to the victim's family that still remain. To the people who lost their, their, their moms, their pops, their child, right? How do you think that makes them feel you keep bringing it up and remind them of what, what happened? Again, 9-11 has something to do with George W. Bush and his father, George Sr., about what Bin Laden and Saddam were doing. That has something to do with them, with their beef. They had nothing to do with Chariot Bossman at all. And this man want to laugh like it's funny, like it's, it's like it's true. No, y'all looking at a bunch of stupid stuff. A bunch of stupidity. A false reality. You have no compassion for nobody that died at all. 77 hit the goddamn tower on September 11th, which is Greg, which is Pope Gregory's 9-11. But this is the original 9-11, Nova 2-9-9-11. You see? You see what they did? They, they... So all the females out there, I know I'm sexy and all that, but hey, pay attention to the video and I mean. Can... Bro, what female gonna want you? That, and they female don't want nobody that's dumb like you. I'm dead serious. You know how many women actually liked the child with Bossman? How many girls your age looked up to Chad with Bossman and saw him as a great actor and they see you doing this? They're not gonna want to talk to somebody like you at all. They're gonna say this man, this young this man is insane. He needs help. That's what they're gonna say. You need a lot of help. They're gonna check you in this video. Okay? This is why YouTube is like this guy don't last that long at all. Okay, I'm just keeping it real, sir. You know what you're doing right now. You're falling behind somebody that can't even get a girl himself. Young Pharaoh exposed RG the Chosen One for trying to go with prostitutes. He can't get a real female. He can't talk to a real woman. This young man here ain't going to pull the woman he wants because they're going to look at him like he's crazy. They're going to say this man needs to go to a mental hospital. Because if you try to tell somebody about Chadwick Balls enough, you mention that you're going to offend them nine times out of ten. They're not going to believe you at all. There ain't no... Ain't no um no man or no woman gonna want their daughter dating somebody like this here. That's that stupid. I'm sorry, XA. I, I just gotta call it for what it is. And I'm 31 years old and I know better. Again, stop listening to RMG, the chosen one. He's leading you down a very dark path. Nova two nine nine eleven. You see, you see what they did. They they go from they they go from the original calendar back to the Gregorian calendar. You see what I'm saying? They play with both sides. They play with a calendar that ain't got nothing to do with our time at all. We don't even use that. Remember they said that about Nostradamus in 2012. And look what happened. That was the Mayan calendar. They had nothing to do with America at all. We still here. 2012 then came and went just like uh what was it um 1999, 2000, right Y two K. Again, man, you, you these conspiracy theories, man. It's, it's, it's again, man. It's just, it's no point in trying to just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's no point in trying to argue with these people. That's why you gotta expose them and let the uh, facts come out that they're proven wrong. Both aspects, when it comes to uh, the uh, the two calendars, there. All right, the uh, the original and then the Gregorian. You see, it's not a joke, not a joke at all. Um. You know, if you believe this whole video is a joke, including you, RG. Black Panther, all right, was the first regular, um, un unblemished superhero that was melanated. First of all, MCU Black Panther is not unblemished at all. Every tragic hero has to go through the hero's journey, it's called storytelling. T'Challa lost his father, went looking for revenge, but it blinds him to the point where he almost killed the wrong guy. And then he learned that revenge was wrong. Vengeance has consumed you. Not letting it consume me. In the Black Panther movie, T'Challa is very self-centered in Wakanda and stuck in his ways. He's struggling with the he's still struggling with the revenge thing. Mercy, King, mercy. <laughs> Every breath you take is messy from me. Killmonger planted his seeds, which made T'Challa realize he was wrong, and then he opened up Wakanda and provided aid to the world. All of you are wrong! To turn your backs on the rest of the world! He was not unblemished. 
He was flawed, but that's what makes the hero great. He was able to change. We can relate to him. That's how storytelling works. I'll repeat myself. The Black Panther was the first mainstream, unblemished superhero movie that depicted the melanated man as the superhero. All right? So fuck Black Lightning, fuck Jon Stewart, fuck Static Shock, fuck Cyborg, Aqualad. Hey, I might be saying. Matter of fact, let's, let's talk about Spawn. Played by Michael J. White. Let's talk about Shaq and Steel. Robert Townsend and Meteor Man. All these black superheroes that came long before the Black Panther came out. This is why you gotta do your research and actually know what you're talking about. Before you do these videos. Yet, yeah, y'all call me stupid for checking this man when he wrong. I'm sorry, man. RG clearly didn't watch the Black Panther. He didn't watch none of these other movies at all. It is sad. What about the War Machine, right? Don Cheeto in the Avengers, the latest Avengers movie. That's not a black superhero. That's unblemished. Like, come on, man. Like, this, this is this is stupid. It, even on um, Blade, Blade was a vampire. What was meant for good, he meant for evil. He turned to good. He was fighting off other evil vampires because he didn't like the corruption. Okay, that man was half human, half vampire. But he fought against the evil vampires that was wicked. Again, RG, you tan a, a Daniel's game. That's why you're not on YouTube no more. I'm letting y'all know that now. And I'm showing y'all proof why he's not on YouTube. So all you people that's harassing right now, you're going to see how stupid you look. Oh, those are mainstream heroes. Okay. All right. Bet. Boom. Fuck Miles Morales too, right? He just doesn't exist. Miles Morales just doesn't exist. Gotcha. Too easy. Okay. He did play a sellout in this movie. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, he said that Black Panther was the first unblemished superhero. Now he's saying that Black Panther is a sellout. We need hundreds of millions of golden jaguars. Do you watch the movie? Does he know what happened to Yellow Jaguar? Yo, your heart is so full of hatred. You are not fit to be a king. And let me say this too before I continue. They had to stop Killmonger. Because Killmonger was literally start World War Three Behind that vibranium and what it... And how powerful it was. Millions of innocent people was going to get killed. Because when something like that goes down, you're going to have nuclear war. You're going to have countries that are going to retaliate with nuclear weapons. Okay? Then on top of that, you expose Wakanda for having this vibratum. You're going to bring in more and more drama. More and more problems. They'll never get peace. I understand he's trying to get his people liberated, but it's a right way to do things. So what Prince T'Challa did at the end of that movie was he decided to introduce it, but in a peaceful manner. In a more sustained and more controlled environment. To where he can be he can be the main one basically um using it and the main one controlling it and distributing it. Okay, so it don't get into the wrong hands. He did it to try to basically save the world. Okay? He was trying to bring real peace. Killmonger on the other hand had too much blood shed on his mind, too much revenge on his mind. That man was gonna kill innocent Millions and millions of innocent people was gonna die behind that war. It was gonna be World War Three, so he had to he had to be taken down. Look how he turned Wakanda that was peaceful into an all-out brawl, straight black-on-black -black violence that was going on this movie, which tells you RG and Chozo clearly didn't watch the movie or didn't understand what he's talking about. But he knows how stupid individuals like this man here is stupid. He knows this already. You take advantage of young men like this, young people like this, boys and girls. You take advantage of them. And you mislead them. You misguide them. And RG have done that for years. For money. Because this man clearly, this young man clearly don't understand what's going on. This dude is lost. This man is going to, I had a nerd to say, oh, women, girls, look at me, I'm cute. No, ain't, ain't no women going to want this young man. They see this type of video, they're not going to want him. They're going to look at how stupid he is. They're going to be like, oh, no, my parents ain't going to want me seen with this type of loser. Okay? Don't be like this young man here. Okay? If you with this young man here, you'll fail for the trap officially. And you need help. These are 42. All right. These, this right here saying 43. Folks, that's because Google is owned and ran by the CIA right now. I had no idea America was a communist country where the government can own any business they want. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Google's owned by Alphabet Incorporated. And Alfred Incorporated was founded by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. 
and I want his RFG to choose who gonna come after him like you came after YouTube. I told you this man is very arrogant and that backfired. When YouTube suspended him, he should just left it alone. But instead, you had to go after uh, YouTube because they based out here in California, and you start talking about California as a whole, which I had a problem with. Again, this is another reason why I gotta show y'all how stupid this guy is, man. He don't know what he's talking about at all. Look at this. It says Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Larry Page and Sergey Brin are the CEO and president of Google's parent company, Alphabet. Respectfully, they met at Stanford University while studying for a PhD in computer science. Lunch Google in 1998. These two men are geniuses. They are very smart. They are scientists. Okay. RG the chosen one don't understand this because he don't he's dropped out of school. This is somebody who didn't take his education seriously. And when you talk about other people and down what they accomplished. No, they don't work like that. I'm sorry, RG. You you, you don't work like that. Or you don't understand reality. You don't. And you poison these people's brains. You confuse these people's minds into believing a bunch of garbage and nonsense. Who started Google in nineteen ninety eight? So he's saying the CIA is in control of Google now. These two kids started Google from a uh, university. So if they are the founders and made the website in 1998, and they're still the founders now, still to this day, when did it turn over to the CIA? Not to mention the CIA doesn't have the legal rights to even take over their business. This is not a communist country. Like you said, y'all, it's been the Roman Ronin. Please like, comment, subscribe, dislike. And I'm going to say this too. Just this, this before I continue. The CIA don't need Google. They got their own technology y'all never know about at all. Okay, RG the chosen one again, man. He don't understand what he talk about. The man is does, doesn't live in America no more. That man is on a completely different government. He, he, he got it good now. He ain't, he ain't escaping nothing at all. He don't. But I'm just showing you right now on Chadwick Boseman's side, this is why he's getting taken down because there are people from Chadwick Boseman's camp, his own family, his agent, which is not an FBI agent either, right? These people have basically found out that he's the one behind them getting harassed. People ask them, they people random questions about this man's death and they have to find a way to take this dude down, okay? But I hope that gave you some clarity and this is just part one, right? Y'all stay tuned. Welcome back, good people. Now, this is going to be part two of this video, of this discussion, right, on this RG the Chosen One, because I'm going to break down who this guy is. Now, I'm in this video, I'm going to show you the main reason why I really don't like this cat at all, why I personally dislike him, man. And this is this is more importantly, I'm going to show you why, because this guy needs to be checked, man. He, again, he's playing a very, very dangerous game. All right, he's pissing a lot of people off over the years. He made a lot of enemies. This is why he's not in America no more. Uh, I'm in Brazil. I'm in I'm in Brazil right now. I'm in I'm in uh I'm in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Yeah, he ran his behind out there because he can't be in America no more. He had too many people coming after him. That man owe a lot of people money, like the Shotgun Five Eli's channel. Go watch that channel, man. I showed y'all that man ain't lying on this dude. He owes a lot of people money. He created a lot of enemies behind his garbage. From sports to religion, all kinds of stuff. And you gonna again you're gonna see why I don't like this dude. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And 20, 2024. That's when they're going to pull the plug. 2024. They gonna, they gonna, they're trying to make a, uh, a cashless society. They're trying to make a cashless society. Wait, before you continue, how you talk about a cashless society where you don't read the Bible? You don't believe in God at all, but yet you want to talk about a cashless society. You know, that's real, real interesting. Right? But let's let's, let's let them continue before I, uh, before I torture this guy once again. You know, so basically they're going to come up with BS reasons to get rid of cash 
so everybody can switch to a digital currency. And one of the reasons they deleted my main channel was because I was telling people that cryptocurrency is bullshit. No, they deleted your main channel because you talked about California as a whole. You said Stoop Dog ain't for rolling 20, so you already pissed them off. Okay, you you, you make these these sports videos about uh saying the sports is rigged. You tell people to gamble for it. Use your Jumantra that don't even work. So people have lost money behind your nonsense and your garbage and your lies. You got that video with Chadwick Balls, but I just showed everybody in part one that you pissed off that man's family. So you guys, kids want to get down with you. But you ran, you all the way out there in Brazil. So you're a coward. Now just be honest. That's why you're you two have to take your channel down. It caused too much confusion. It caused a lot of disruption. All right? Behind your nonsense. You know, I kept pushing that, that point that cryptocurrency is a trap. Um, cryptocurrency is going to be the currency of the new world order. So what you need to invest in right now is uh, gold, silver, platinum, copper, and uh, crystals. Okay, let me let me refute this right now. Y'all need to go read the entire book of Revelation. Because when the mark of the beast get here, you're not going to be able to buy nor sell unless you take the mark. It says that in Revelation. This man don't believe in God at all, so how in the hell are you telling everybody what they need to be doing? This is why I don't like people like him at all, man. People like him don't need to be having a platform because they spread a bunch of freaking confusion. Again, when the Antichrist get here, before the mark of the beast get here, there's going to be a rapture taking place. People are going to get raptured. God's going to come back for his church and anybody that believed in him. This man will never tell you that because he don't believe in God. And let me let me show you. Now this is this is the uh, the super Christian who refuted him about everything he said against God in the Bible. Let's just take a look. Um, he's all smoke and mirrors. Okay, he 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 never existed. Okay, the the Jesus comes from the story of Horus, which which goes back to ancient Kemet, which is about eight thousand years old. Okay, Horus was born of a virgin mother was born on December 25th, okay, died and was reborn from the ashes because Horus was the phoenix god. Okay, if you research... And as you can see, point one, he brings up the uh, the Horus, supposed Horus connection with Jesus. This is commonly found in the Zeitgeist film. The Zeitgeist was invented and uh, put out by the Illuminati, and this is... Uh, the uh, this is a connection made by Satanists. He's following Satanic doctrine, and he just exposed he just exposed himself by saying it in this video. He thinks there's connections connections between Jesus and Horus. Well, we're going to look at that. How to quickly debunk the Horus slash Jesus myth? Horus, what's the connection? Such is the case of Jesus, a copy of pagan myths trope that seems to be gathering steam in many atheist circles. Some some of this has to do with the popularity of the YouTube video Zeitgeist, there, where the uh, the first third of the video tries to compare Jesus and several demigods worshipped prior to Jesus' birth. Near the beginning, the narrator makes this claim. And they basically make the claim, trying to say that Jesus is, is Horus. If you've studied this, you already know this. And let's see, point one, look for loaded language. Notice in the Zeitgeist story, all the terms used are once taken from Christianity. Horus is called a messiah and was baptized. He had disciples in ministry. All these terms bias the listener because they are Jewish or Christian concepts. The Egyptians would never use these words to refer to their religious rites. The word messiah had a very specific meaning to Jews, including being a descendant of David. It was any p political figure. Christianity teaches that believers are baptized only once, not simply a pre-religious washing ceremony by mislabeling other deities with Christian terms. The listener is deluded into believing that these similarities are closer than they really are. Number two, ask, can I read the source of these myths? The single easiest way to debunk these supposed parallel accounts of Jesus and Horus are to just simply ask for the source text of the myth themselves, just as the stolen kidney tale can't be verified since it comes from a friend of a friend. So you'll find that the ancient tales that supposedly parallels the life of Jesus are an extended form of hearsay. In fact, all these claims are usually committing the same sin many atheists claim the Gospels commit. They are more like a game of telephone than real text. Interestingly, if anyone actually bothers to look up the source text, a very different picture arises for Horace. There's no mention at all 
of twelve disciples, three king visitations, and death by crucifixion and three-day embodiment. In fact, Horus was stung by a scorpion and a magic incarnation by the god of wisdom, Thoth, purges the venom from his body. This all happens while Horus was a young child, well before his adulthood and battle for the throne. It's nothing like Jesus' resurrection at all. Number three, ask, why, ask what do you mean by resurrection? There's a significant difference between Jesus' resurrection and what you read in the ancient myths. Osiris, according to a late tradition recorded in the first century AD by the Roman Plutrich, was cut into 14 pieces by his nemesis Typhon, and they were scattered all along the Nile. See, that's interesting, right? So what the hell has this dude been talking about? Again, this is why I don't like these people, because they never have a solution to nothing. RG don't have a solution, because you're not going to be able to run or hide. I can almost guarantee you, this man going to be one of the ones taking the mark of the beast, because you ain't going to escape Jesus. You ain't going to escape the fake Jesus. Okay? The real Jesus ain't coming back as a man no more. The Antichrist going to be the fake Jesus. He's going to call himself Jesus for a reason, because he's a wolf in sheep clothing. He's going to see many people like RG, the chosen one. Because it don't matter that he in Brazil, the Antichrist is going to get every single nation. The only nation that's going to, that's going to uh, rise against him is Israel. But that's going to take place in the Battle of Armageddon. That's in the very last end. Again, my job as a believer in Christ, because I'm not, I'm not religious, but my job is to tell people how they can receive God and how you can get raptured up. This man here will never tell you that because he's full of lies. He's doing this for clout and attention. Okay, this is somebody who's mentally insane. You can see it in him. This man got real demons. Look at that. Head look like the pineapple SpongeBob sleeps in. Like, come on now, dude. You want to tell somebody about the truth? Dude look like R2-D2, man. Head look like the Imperial Death Star from Star Wars that Han Solo and them blew up. Come on now. Man. This dude is full of lies and crap. But you're going to sit there and have video... Questioning Jesus, saying he don't exist, but you talk about the new world. You talk about a caste of society. Like, come on now, dude. And you, you, you one of the reasons why you got people scared of this vaccine. There's nothing wrong with the vaccine at all. And I'm going to have to do a separate video explaining that, okay? Because one thing, we only got one life to live. We only be here once. I'm not about to play around for nobody. I'm not about to get sick behind no, no uh, virus. And I don't got to wait to heal myself. Come on now. It's a bunch of lies. That's all it is. A bunch of garbage. That's why I don't like you, RFG. And I hope y'all tell him this video. I, I, I want him to come at me. I really do. The dude's a carrot. Because I can show you the Instagram post where this dude never responded to me at all. Because he don't want the smoke. See what I'm saying? Because there's going to come a point in time where all these corporations say, well, you know, we're not dealing with dollars anymore. We're going over to this crypto thing. And the only way you'll be able to get access to that crypto, one world... First of all, crypto might not even be around when the Antichrist even gets here. If it's a cash of society, it means crypto is not going to matter. Again, they say it's going to be a stamp. It's going to be under your skin. Okay? Like the people that get that RFID chip and get the barcode, which I don't have. That vaccine didn't have the RFID chip in it. Trust me, it didn't. Dude. That was all liquid fluid. Okay? What he's talking about, you don't, you don't take him seriously at all. You really don't. And I showed you that. Because if you don't believe in God, that means you don't believe in the New World Order or the One World Government. You don't believe that's going to be a cashless society. That makes you an atheist. Order currency is if you have a microchip in your body. That's what they're getting ready for. And best believe, when that happens, I'm not going to be down here. I believe I'm going to be ratcheted up to be in heaven with my God. That's something he don't understand. Why? Because he's dealing with demons. And uh, if you don't, if you don't have that microchip. You know what I'm saying? You won't be able to get be part of the the one world order crypto. Um. So the only thing people. And my thing is, so how is gold and silver and all this other stuff you tell people get? How is that going to even work? Because again, it says in the Bible you won't be able to buy nor sell. That means people are going to starve to death. There are people that's going to be suffering. The Antichrist is going to try to get in your head mentally and make you want to take it because you're hungry and starving. That's actually what's going to make it happen. And even then, the market beast ain't the only thing you need to be worried about either. Y'all need to go read the Bible and go look up the seven beast, the beast with seven heads. Go look some of that stuff up, which he's not going to do because he doesn't read the Bible. People like us can do is just invest in precious metals. Invest in precious metals like gold, silver, platinum, copper, crystal, you know, etc.
and invest in an online business. And um, like I said, also buying up gold, silver, platinum, and copper. Which again is not going to help your anybody's situation. Even now, to even get that stuff is very, very high and expensive. I'm being honest, man. It's not that easy. This is his Instagram live. Matter of fact, a live he told me to hop on with him and still won't respond to me. Sundra Brooks, oh man, listen, I got sons, man. Some see some some is telling me it's gonna be the sons because. They put out a viral screenshot of a guy on Twitter who supposedly predicted the Bucks and Sons to meet up. And this was years ago, but he said the Bucks. This dude he talking about doesn't even exist. It's fake. Somebody made up in his mind because that's how mentally insane this man is. You can tell his eyes. This dude got something wrong with him, man. Like he got some type of disability. He's not in his right mind. Bucks would win. So now. Well, let me remind y'all what's been going on over the last 30, 40 something years. Giannis is the second superstar behind Kareem Abdul Jabbar to get the Bucks a championship. No other All Star was able to do that. Not even when they had Sidney Moncrief, Scott Brooks, when he was a basketball player, Craig Hodges, the same Craig Hodges that Jordan played with when he won a championship, right? They had that team that Jordan had to go up against. That team was able to win no championship. Not even after all. Um, when uh not when they had uh Ray Allen and Glenn Robinson and they was in the Eastern Conference battling out Ray Allen. They was never able to win no championship. Now you when you have Michael Red, Brandon Jennings, Andrew Bogut, Monte Ellis. Okay? You even have Mama Mute. That team was not able to get to no championship. It took Giannis six seasons to get here. When that man got drafted in twenty fourteen, Giannis was a rookie, they didn't make the playoffs. And even before then when you have Brandon Jones and Montez, that team got swept by the Miami Heat. The Bucks have had problems beating LeBron James all these years. Okay? This man is somebody who don't watch basketball at all. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. These are this is why I don't have I have a problem with the truth of community. Because they act like these athletes are not working hard, that they don't have to work and grind. There's a reason why Giannis called out super teams and why he called LeBron specifically because he don't believe in trying to stack the deck. Yana said, I'm going to win this championship with what I got. Every last one of the players on this team, those are all role players. That man don't got a single superstar. Chris Milton is not a superstar. Drew Holiday is not a superstar at all. Neither is Brooke Lopez. This is somebody who's mentally ill. He don't watch basketball. But when I tell you about the Suns, that man was dead wrong. And this was just last month. This was in July. Wrong. You didn't watch the playoffs. The reason why the Bucks won, y'all, because Giannis was the best player on the court. If you watch the finals, you'll see that. Yeah, Chris Middleton had a good game four when he dropped 40. That's because Devin Booker don't play defense like he was supposed to. Matter of fact, let me speak on Devin Booker before I get to you because I got another video coming about these Kardashians. Devin Booker had the nerve to basically get with Kendall Jenner after she broke up with Ben Simmons. And Ben Simmons felt some type of way because him and Devin Booker were supposed to be homeboys. Devin Booker got with that. Kardashians, you learned good sister, and he put all this unnecessary pressure on himself. And it cost the team. Devin Booker was losing his mind in that finals. If y'all pay very close attention. And even then, with the Clippers, had Kawhi not been injured, he would have got bounced out. So again, I don't want to hear that, man. Y'all got to stop using Jamantra. It don't work. Stop listening to this fool, this idiot, who don't play an ounce of basketball himself. This is a man who got cut from everybody's team. He didn't make the football team. He didn't make the soccer team. He didn't make the baseball team. Not only the basketball team because he's not athletic. It's sad and it's sick and it makes no kind of sense at all. And this is Giannis who's a real European. Come on, that man had to work hard his whole career to get to where he is. You don't want to give this man no credit at all. You stupid fool. Again, all you followers, I'm making a video. This is why I got to call y'all out because y'all listen to a bunch of garbage. This man been doing it for the last five years. Matter of fact, with the Kansas City Chiefs played the San Francisco 49ers, before that, this man said that Houston, Texas was going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. He didn't have Patrick Mahomes at all. So how do y'all trust this man? I don't get it at all. It's foolish. Now everybody believes the Bucks are going to win 
because a person put out the information a few years ago. If that person, I would have been knew who he was. Again, how many sports videos have I told y'all on this channel? No, this is somebody he made up. Didn't nobody want? Didn't nobody have to predict the Bucks win no championship? They either had LeBron, the teams LeBron James been on in the last twenty years is, that has been Cleveland, Miami, or it's been on um, the Lakers. For the last, like for, for like the last two years, been like right, Lakers won a championship last season, but even before then, they had the Nets in there. Just last season, it was the Nets. Before then, it was the, the Toronto Raptors. They had the Philadelphia 76ers. Didn't nobody care about Giannis. I myself predicted that Giannis could reach a championship, but it didn't happen. Okay? You had the Boston Celtics. People would, uh, would say, they say uh, the Boston Celtics that was led by Kyrie Irving. That team had a better chance of reaching the finals than the Milwaukee Bucks. Did nobody believe in the Bucks at all? None. This man don't watch the NBA. He don't watch what he's talking about. So y'all need to stop listening behind your mantra. It's not going to help you at all. Because sports betting goes through spreads. If your team don't cover the spread, it means how many points are they going to win or lose by? They're going to lose by 7. They're going to lose by 15. Or they're going to win by 20. If your team don't cover the spread, you're not going to win no money. Period. Okay? Again, look on this man's face. It's insanity. Somebody lost. I can look in his eyes. This man don't know what the hell he's talking about at all, dude. He's doing anything to get views, anything to get attention. But here's my thing. Since it went viral, since since that went viral, they're now going to switch the script on that, and the Bucks are going to lose. You know why? Because what did, what did they call black, uh, heavily melanated men back in the day? They called heavily melanated men Bucks. Okay, that's a lie. Bucks is a slang term. Let me show you what a buck is. Because this is what this team is named after. They ain't got nothing to do with black people. This is what the basketball team is named after. It's named after a deer. A buck is one of the largest deers in the world. Look at them big on antlers. By the way, whoever goes camping... If you don't got no weapon or no gun on you to protect you and you getting some firewood or whatever it is, you out here on fishing or whatever, stay very far away from these. Stay, Keep away from them at a distance because they will attack you. These bucks know how to attack. They will charge at you. It's just like a ram, a male goat with horns. Again, out there in Milwaukee, up in the north, that's what this animal is named after. The team is named after these because that's their region. They're bucks. Ain't got nothing to do with black people. Once again, this man don't do no research at all. He don't watch sports. Okay? He don't know what the hell he's talking about at all. He's just saying a bunch of lies. He's making things up on the fly. You see what I'm saying? And then, so the Bucks represents the melanated man, because that's what, that was a derogatory term used against us. And the Bucks also represent... Actually, Bucks was, black people were calling themselves Young Buck. For those that watch that movie, Lottery Ticket, didn't I ask you to say what up, Young Buck, before you uppercutted that dude? Young Buck is what black people said amongst themselves. You're not black, RG. Shut the hell up. Again, it's been proven you're not black. We, I saw your I saw your moms and I saw your dad, dude. You're not black. If anything, you're more Peruvian, Dominican, Latin, or Cuban. Them people don't consider themselves black. That's why you're over there in Brazil. Because you can speak their language. You're not black at all. If you was really black, brother, you would never ran away from America and ran away from the struggle. Stop, stop that lying. Stop that foolishness. The bucks, the the uh, the U.S. bucks, the U.S. dollars. So when the bucks lose in the in the NBA finals, it's going to be symbolic of the melanated buck falling, and then the U.S. dollars falling, and then what is the uh, Phoenix Sun. The Phoenix Sun is the Phoenix Rising. The Phoenix Rising from... And that Phoenix didn't help the Suns at all. They lost. Chris Paul lost. And I told you that in my uh, in my Milwaukee video when I shouted out Giannis. Okay, this man don't watch basketball at all. He don't watch plays. He don't understand a playbook. He don't understand film. None of that. And I told y'all, I'm on record telling y'all that. If y'all want to watch a game, it's one thing to watch the game on TV. It's another thing to go out to these stadiums 
and spend four hundred to a thousand dollars and watch the basketball game lie towards the front row, baseline, courtside. How many of y'all have actually done that? Matter of fact, how many of y'all are you of RBG or chosen ones followers are actually going to the actual arena and watch your favorite team or watch a sports team live instead of watching it on TV? That's the problem. This dude watches TV all damn day. From the ashes. You see what I'm saying? The Phoenix rising from the ashes. Uh, New World Order rising. Which you can't talk about because you don't believe in God. All right? And then... Uh, the, the Suns play in PayPal Stadium or PayPal Arena. And PayPal is a part of that agenda as well. Actually, PayPal is another form of coding. That's a money app that people have used to uh, make transactions. I've used PayPal to pay for my tuition. Yes, RG, I'm in college. I'm in Bible school, something you know nothing about and don't understand. Okay? PayPal ain't got nothing to do with the market beast and neither is Bitcoin. The Antichrist is going to have his own money system. All right, it's going to be a step you're going to make you take. If you don't take, you're either going to get your head chopped off, lethal injection that they do in jail, or whatever else they're going to do to punish you for not obeying them. All right? That's what's going to go down. You need to read the Bible, sir. You see what I'm saying? So I definitely have the uh, the Suns uh, getting, you know, getting their first championship. Which they did not. They failed. So if Giannis defeated the um, Phoenix Suns, that means they were never no script in the first place. And I don't hear that he scored 50 points. He scored 50 points because he's the only one that was dropping points. Chris Milton and Drew Holiday had another nervous breakdown. He had to carry them. He carried the entire team. That's why. 50 points is very, very, very doable. When Kobe Bryant has scored 81 points. Wilt Chamberlain scored 99 points. All right? If I'm not mistaken, even Kyrie Irving and Klay Thompson both dropped 50 before. It's not hard. But that's just it, man. This dude pisses me off, man. This is somebody you need to stop falling behind. This is why his channel gone. Because people lost a whole lot of money. Again, go watch my very first YouTube video. It was old people and other YouTubers like him that had the Colts and Vikings before the season even started, which was stupid. That man lost a lot of people money. Okay? The, the father behind is Jamantra, which is an absolute lie. Yet you talk about the Jews, but you're using their system. Matter of fact... Let me go look at some of these comments. I'm going to respond. <coughs> Excuse me. Before I go, I'm going to read some of y'all comments. I'm going to show my subscribers how stupid people are. Y'all still mad at me for checking this dude. Right? Y'all still pissed off that I checked this guy. I checked your precious chosen one. But you guys saying I did this for a reason because y'all need to see what y'all are falling behind. Y'all need to see the reason why this man's channel was shut down. And I'm going to end it now. Let's see. This is dude. Sun, little Sun One Golden says, All I see is a bunch of talking and talking with no practicability. And I don't know what this is. See, these people came and spell. What the hell is practicity? To be honest, while every time RFG talks has informative wisdom, his predictions are here and there. But there are other videos are the ones that made an impact. What impact has he made? Look, Stormage. The worst part is when he's selling those. All right, this is just out to Stormage, right? Now, this is somebody who checked this dude, right? Who knows about RFG, the Chosen One's um, BS. This person right here says, Storm Rage. He says, the worst part is when he was selling those RFG shirts and lying to people saying that he was going to buy land. And that's why these shirts that he made for... For $5, he sold for $40. And telling y'all, you will have a place to live and work in, in the land he buys with the money. Now, the land he just bought in Brazil, he got that from the stimulus check. So as much as he been talking against the government, he was quick to, uh, to get the government's uh, money. The man straight said now that that uh, that live I just showed you earlier in that video, oh, you better go save that stimulus money and, buy, uh, and get you a passport and move out of here. That man took from the government's money. So as much as y'all talk about the government this and then the government that, they evil, y'all quit to take the money they're giving you. See, obviously, if you was really woke, you wouldn't ever take it, accepted the, uh, the government's money at all. And then Conor McGregor, you, right? You say you're still wrong, bro. You haven't watched all of his videos. He talks about white supremacy, 
about ancient knowledge and he shows real evidence of for his works. You're picking out some of the videos about sports, about something, trying to find mistakes that he made and not watching everything or using Google to search up everything he talks about in every video and thinking about it as subs do, do as subs do. Going against your own suggestions. Like, no. Now, this is the main dude that's been going back and forth with me. You subscribe to my channel and you subscribe to RG's channel. Look, Conor McGregor, I don't support RG. I've been on YouTube longer than you have. Again, I'm somebody who actually plays sports. You talking to somebody. I'm somebody that played football from Pop Warner, high school, college, and semi-professional. Okay? The last team I played for was the Eagle Hill Blackhawks. They just won their 18th championship. 18th lead title. I played against guys in and out the lead. Okay? I know a lot of athletes. Okay? RG is somebody that has not ever played a day in his life. And I just showed y'all in this video how wrong he is. Okay? So I'm showing you now you look stupid for coming, for falling behind somebody that dumb. Look, Leah Boss says RG, the chosen one, is well known, baby. Even when your channel is no longer present, you yet still your existence here it lives. You too can delete your channel, but as egotistical brother is proven, they can't stop us from remembering you nor your message. Thank you, RG. This man is wrong. This man just had his entire shut down, yet mine's is still standing. Now, this is High Castle underscore five or underscore B. He say RG ain't right about some things, but he do be telling the truth. RG said you shouldn't believe everything I'm saying because you need to have your own mind and think for yourself. Plus, if he's wrong about something, nine times out of ten, he would come out and say he's wrong about something. You should watch all his videos. I've watched some of his videos. I don't need to watch all his videos. A bunch of lies. I just showed you what this man lied about Chadwick Boseman. Okay, so that just got refuted. He said, oh, David Cherry says, RG is the first man to open my eye. Now I've gained a bunch of knowledge and sports is rigged through a number code. Okay, if that's the case, then how come the um, Phoenix Suns couldn't beat the Bucks? Explain that. Look, Carter McGregor has sent like 10 comments. Look, here's Storm Rage again. Bro, RG legit fed you all, and I quote, all bullshit lies, ideas that he regurgitated off other pages. He did that that with everything. Flat Earth, he flip-flopped that idea. The Dr. Sebi diet, he flip-flopped on. The sports geometry, that shit that he flip-flopped. Again, this is somebody that's followed RG and proved that man was wrong. Look, Afro Cuban for Life says, Oh man, I was looking for a funny clip he did on Brother Polite and Dick Gregory. They were funny. Again, people know this man is a joke. But no, it's the same one that's that's on um, falling behind this dude that's trying to insult me, make me look stupid. Like, come on now, man. Like, this is dumb. Look at all these comments section, dude. Like, it's, it's, it's stupid. A bunch of stupidity. Now, Jonathan Smith. This is all a hey, y'all. This guy still believes in the Bible. That should let you know enough. But yet, yeah, RG chosen ones talk about a one world government. Talk about caste society that's in the Bible. Again, the Bible talks about the Antichrist. That if you don't get the mark of the beast, you won't be able to buy nor sell. So obviously, I'm doing something right because RG just got his information from the damn Bible. Yeah, look how stupid y'all are for doing this. What solution you got, man? I just told y'all solutions. Y'all need to get yourself right with God. Once you pray to God and accept Christ in your life, you can be raptured and you got to worry about the New World Order at all. Young Cherokee Peter said, how are you going to talk about the dude when you push a false information? Everything I just showed you in this last video was false. RFG, the children, is talking a bunch of um, false information. And again, a lot of these people can't read at all. This dude said he just bought land in South America to spend the rest of his life doing and Sonka, whatever that is. Look, man, he bought land, but again, he needs to focus on buying land and doing things for the community and stop talking about the one world government. Stop talking about the new world order, and he's not telling people how they can avoid the new world order. Stop telling people to buy gold and silver. It's not going to help them when that happens. Okay, false information. He's a false prophet. It says, Alon or Alonzo says, stop trying to make him look bad. Are you an FBI agent? First of all, if I was an FBI agent, I would not be on here at all. A real FBI agent is not on YouTube. Okay? Because if I was a real FBI agent, I would have been took that dude to jail. I would have took him down to all those other YouTube channels. 
who was um trying to scam people behind that that Colts and Vikings prediction. Okay, and this dude here is trying to say, now this is mass murder, mobile gaming. This dude says, bro, California's name out the Queen Khalifa, Khalifa, right? All right, let me just show you this right now. Right, it says you want to sit there and lie. And I'm going to be doing a video on this next. I'm going to show you a preview. This is a this is the real queen of California. Okay, not that song. Oh, that's a song. Let's see. Why does that keep popping up? Okay, so let me see. Here it is. California. I'm going to show you the real queen of California. This is California. I'm going to get ready to do a video on this so you're going to see the uh, you're going to see the preview. Notice. California, right? This is the real queen of California. California. Not California. Who in the hell is this? Listen, all right, so mural of the Queen Califia and her Amazon warriors. Okay, she was Amazon, all right, so Califia or Califia or Califa is a fictional queen of the island of California, first introduced by the 16th century poet Garcia Rodriguez de Malavello in his epic novel of chivalry, La Sergis de Elefantian. I mean, I don't speak Spanish, so it's hard to uh, pronounce that, but the Californians, a region of North America, encompassing the U.S. state of California and the Mexican states of Baja California and Baja California, sir, take their name from Califia and her kingdom. In the novel, Califia is a pagan warrior queen who ruled over a kingdom of black women living on the island of California, an island off the coast of Asia. So what the hell is RMG the chosen one telling y'all? Again, California was not named after no uh, no Amazonian goddess. The Amazon is in Brazil, mass murderer sir. That's Brazil where he's at. That man is studying Calimatra. Ain't got nothing to do with California. And Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo is the one who gave him that name off that book. Okay, the name Califia was likely formed from Arabic word Khalifa. Remember, they say it's likely formed, likely from the Arabic word Khalifa. The Islamic state under the leadership of the Islamic ruler. So it means the name Khalifa was likely formed. Again, it's a myth that is known under Caliph in English and Caliph in Spanish. It's not spelled the same. Remember, Arabic word. It means not the same thing. So again, RG is freaking lying. There was no Amazonian gods that crossed from Brazil all the way to California. I just told you, man. It's a fictional queen. That means it's not even real. Fiction means fake. It's not non-fiction. Okay? So stop believing in this damn nonsense. Look at The character Califa is used by Rodriguez. Right? To portray the superiority of chivalry. In which the attractive virgin queen is conquered. Converted to Christian beliefs and married off. Once again, let me read that again. The character of Caliphate used by Rodriguez de Monetaval to portray the superiority of chivalry. Okay? In which the attractive virgin queen is conquered, converted to Christian beliefs. I mean, she got conquered by Christians, which you don't believe in, RG. So stop your lies. Stop your nonsense. They say the conflict was likely means that's not even true. Again, I just refuted everything he said to be a bunch of freaking lies. That's it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm completely done. I just eat through this guy. I just buried this dude completely. Man, folks, that's the video. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Again, man, this is, is uh, it's over. RG deserved to have his channel shut down for that exact same reason. All right? Anyways, y'all, that's the video, man. Like, subscribe, comment. I hope you people 
who support RG can leave me alone after this. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. As always, I'll see you soon.